Hi guys, this is Amy Simmons from the Simmons Realty team, and this is John Simmons, and this is Tim Vogel. Tim um, was gracious enough to allow us to interview him today because we are doing a series on entrepreneurs. And Tim owns a business called Scent Hound, hence olive. This is olive oil. Our dog, she needs a little bath. So uh, one of the learning experiences we had through the years of being in this business is that 80% of dogs don't actually need haircuts. Uh, but all dogs need care. And so the people who had dogs that didn't need haircuts typically weren't going to grooming salons. So we created Scent Hound as a way for them to get care for their dogs in a way that made sense for them. So Scent is an acronym. It's actually skin, coat, ears, nails, and teeth, which are the five core areas that all dogs need care. And the whole premise is uh, for someone who has a dog that doesn't need a haircut, they can come in and get the, all the care they need in 15 minutes once a month. That's fantastic. So Tim, We've been a client of yours and we've come to Scent Hound to visit to take care of our dogs, but can you explain a little bit about what you do at Scent Hound and what your business is all about? Sure. So Scent Hound, we really set up uh, as a way for people to get their dogs cared for in a fast, easy, and affordable way. How did you come up with this idea? Like, What were you doing? When did it happen? <laughs> That's a great question. So it, it actually evolved over the last 10 years that we've been in business. We really start, we originally started our business as a mobile pet grooming business. And after being in that industry for a while, we realized it was really hard to find and keep qualified groomers. So we opened a grooming salon where we set up a training program and developed groomers there. We really found living true to our value system and doing the things that we care uh, created great, uh, better word of mouth and better positive feelings about us in the community. So what we do is we try to um, uh, get together with different community organizations that um, align with our value system. So there's a big rescue league in Palm Beach County called Peggy Adams. Uh, so we, um, every dog that's adopted there, we give them a free first service and we, we come in and educate them about how to care for their dog. One of the things that we love about your business is the type of people that you hire. Um, and every time I come to one of your salons, I really feel like they love dogs. How do you find such great people? For your for your stores, yeah, that's and a, for your group and for your mobile business. Yeah, that's a great question, and and honestly, probably the biggest challenge any of us as business mm -hmm. owners face. Um, and so, over the years, we've developed and we have actually eleven step hiring process, but it's all based on our values. They started with um, one location. Now you have three. Is that correct? Well, we started with one van. One van. Okay. Right. One van out of my house. We built that to four vans. I remember that. Uh, Did you drive the van? I uh, yes. <laughs> I was in that van every day. Uh, built that to four vans. Got our office. Then we opened our first retail location, and we're opening our fourth retail location. Plus, we have the four vans. Now. And so, where are these locations? So we're in Jupiter, West Palm Beach, um, Boynton Beach, and we're opening Wellington in the next month. That's fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. One of the things that you know we as entrepreneurs, and I grew up in a very entrepreneurial environment, was about traits that an entrepreneur has. And you had mentioned some that you feel are the most important in being an entrepreneur. Yeah. And um, why don't you share those with us? Well, optimism is kind of one of the yeah, top ones. Yeah. Perseverance, you got to stick with it too. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you, know, you know, when I look back, and if I knew what I knew then, I probably wouldn't have gotten into it. So <laughs> right, right. A, little bit of, a little bit of ignorance didn't hurt right, me either. Right. And then once I was in the middle of it, I was like, I got no choice, I got to make this happen. So I stuck with it. But that perseverance, you just got to every day. But I think the, the, the other big thing is it has to, it can't be about the money. It's got to be meaningful. To Absolutely, you. I agree. We're putting on a world record attempt. It's going to be this Sunday, January 29th, from 1 to 4 at downtown at the gardens. It's going to be a ton of fun. We've got live music, we've got a live radio broadcast going, we've got a ton of vendors and food and kid zones and just, you know, training right. things, all these kind of things happening. Uh, and we're going to attempt to break the world record for the most people simultaneously brushing their dog's teeth. <laughs> the original record was set in uh, 2012 in Hong Kong, China. It's okay. 268. Okay. Uh, and we think we can break that this year, so we're really excited about it. Well, we're going to be there with ours. Awesome. So we have too, to brush our dog's teeth? Yes. <laughs> yes. And last but not least, uh, guys, we're going to be doing this all the time, once a month, with entrepreneurs and, uh, and not just entrepreneurs, business owners. And if you have an interest in having a sit down like this and getting your story out, just give us a call.